good morning so the first thing that i do in the morning is make sure that i have filled up my water bottle i try to drink three of these a day and then i get straight onto my emails i try to get this done because i hate doing emails so much once i've done that i'll get ready i'll put a little bit of makeup on it just makes me feel a little bit more prepared and then today i needed to take a couple of photos for a thumbnail so i did that and then edited it into a, a studio vlog thumbnail uh, let me know if you watch this studio vlog actually all right i am now dressed and ready for the day I'm not gonna lie, some days I don't get actually ready ready. I'll sit in my joggers and like that cozy hoodie and stay like that. But today I am actually going out. I'm gonna take my grandma. We're gonna go for food shopping and for some lunch, which I think is quite good actually. It breaks up my day a little bit and I can take my lunch break at the same time. So yeah, I'm all dressed. I'm gonna get in the car. And whilst I'm out, I'm also gonna take um, some things to the post office because I've had some orders and they need to be sent. So. Yeah, I'll take you out with us. Many hours have passed. As you saw, I was shopping with grandma and then we decided, or I asked whether she wanted to go for lunch, so we went for lunch. And then we decided to go to look at some show homes <laughs> on an estate, like a new estate thing. Most definitely can't afford them, but a girl, a girl can dream, maybe in like five years time. So we went and looked looked at them and I just got home. I've been out of the office for three hours, which I wasn't planning. I was hoping for like an hour and a half max. So I'll just have to make that time up later um, tonight, which is fine because I don't have any like evening plans. Um, and I think that's the beauty of working freelance because I can kind of drop everything and go and do things when other people are free which is nice i just have to be quite strict with myself on making sure i can catch up with myself for the rest of the day i've already ticked off two things on my little to-do list actually let me show you this so this is my weekly planner i sold these on my online store and i'm currently in the process of creating some new weekly planners so keep an eye out on my instagram for those if you're into organization stationary kind of things i will leave the link in the description and on screen but yeah i've ticked off so today's monday i've ticked off two things on there so far oh three actually i've ordered my new cello bags too um i'm gonna go back and sort out my video so i've got a video going up tonight and then i've also got a video that i've pre-filmed ready for next week so i need to do the annotations for that so the subtitles and the tags um and then i've got actual graphic design work um so I'm going to do some drawings on my iPad. Before I start doing the subtitles, I thought I'd quickly show you what I do when I'm applying to like commission emails. A portion of my work involves me creating logos for people, creating little drawings for people, stuff that involves like one single client, they pay me a fee and I give them a drawing or whatever or my services so i replied to a couple of emails this morning about commissions so i thought i would kind of go into that a little bit more so if you're wondering how i go about it you can kind of get an idea so let me just record my screen if you're wondering by the way i use a app called screen recorder i think screen replay yeah it's called screen replay on my mac i get asked quite a lot how i record my screen and it's just that i got it off the app store i have an apple mac um, and i use an app called screen replay it was free at the time i've had it for years so i'm not sure if it's still free but i really like it so i mean it'd be wonderful if the internet wanted to work yesterday let me tell you the internet was driving me insane the one day i had like three videos to upload the internet just wasn't playing ball at all considering the internet is my job it's pretty pretty frustrating <laughs> all right for some reason gmail isn't loading my emails properly but um i'll just show you my little template thing so here in my notes app so this is just the app that comes with apple devices i guess i have this note here that i wrote ages ago um and in it are some kind of blanket style emails i guess so i don't send blank emails per se <laughs> i hate blank emails but this is like the basic thing i will reply with when someone asks me for a commission so um i don't know if you can see but i have one for commission so if you want to pause it and like use this for yourself go ahead just adapt it to suit you um and it says like thank you for getting in touch 
for a portrait like the one I have attached because I always attach something because generally people email me like hi can you do a drawing of me and my boyfriend and they don't specify what kind of drawing so I want to make sure they're clear on the style and kind of what it is they're going to get and what I'm charging for um, just so everyone is clear you know so yeah it says um, I charge this much and then I always change that to suit um, this includes the full resolution digital copy so you can print it as you wish three opportunities to make changes to the drawing and also an A4 physical print. I asked for the full payment amount beforehand via PayPal or bank transfer, let me know if you're interested. And basically that is the same principle for all the way through. So when I did a bunch of different kind of cartoon style portraits, I made one for just cartoons. I rarely use this one anymore, I could probably get rid of it. And then I have one for like YouTube banners because I went through a phase of doing them a lot. And then the one I use the most at the moment is the logo one. So I have like thanks for your email, it, the final price depends but it starts from and then I'll put a fee here, um, tell them how they receive it. And then I also have this Google Forms link um, which I can go through in another video if you'd like me to so just let me know in the comments if you would. But basically this form, this takes you to a little survey online for me thing that I've created. Asking you a bunch of different questions, what you want your logo for, where it's going to be used, any inspiration photos you've found, all that, that's in that form. And then if someone fills that out, it emails me and I have it all in one place rather than doing like loads of back and forth emails. Um, so yeah, I find it really, really helpful to have these notes here because I pretty much need to say the same thing every time. So I'll copy and paste it into my email uh, account, like into the reply, um, edit the name. If there's anything specific that I've asked for, I'll add that into my reply and I'll send that. And then either people will completely ignore that because they don't like the price or they'll reply and be like, yep, yeah, that's amazing, let's go for it. I never really get a no, <laughs> I either get ignore or let's go for it. So yeah, that is how I go about that. So, I am now quickly, gonna try quickly anyway, I'm gonna quickly do the subtitles for my latest studio vlog. Um, so I try and make sure I've got subtitles on like 99% of my videos because I want them to be accessible to a wider audience. Um, and it does take extra time, sometimes it takes a lot of extra time, but I think it, I don't know, I just really value having subtitles i don't know i just i got into the swing of things and i don't want to not do it anymore so i'm doing that maybe one day i'll end up having to like hire someone to do it but for now i quite enjoy it and i like having control i'm very much a control freak so i go into my creator studio app and well not app dashboard whatever it is and i'm gonna do the annotations and luckily YouTube generates some annotations itself and they are usually like 80% accurate so I just need to like scroll through and change the words that it hasn't picked up right. So that's what's on the agenda right now. And I might listen to a podcast, maybe watch a video actually. What's your favourite designy YouTuber, like graphic design, Etsy person? Who, do you, who else do you watch online? Because I need some new people to watch. <laughs> how loud my laptop is yeah it's very loud it's currently exporting a video because that video I was just captioning has a clip in there that I was supposed to edit out and I didn't so I was just trying to save it again like re-export it and re-upload it because it's due up soon um, and my memory on my laptop is full this happens a lot <laughs> i have to empty my laptop's memory so often i have a really big hard drive that's in my drawers down here um i do like a full little office tour video i did it recently so if you want to go and watch that you'll be able to see where i store everything but yeah i have the big hard drive for like a big clear out but then i also have these little tiny ones so i now have two think they're like 50 pounds like they're not much at all and it's one terabyte my new one could be two terabytes i can't really remember but this one's just a one and it's just usb it doesn't require any power so i can take this around with me 
Um, so what I'm going to do, before I can do anything else, I can't even do any design work really because it's that full. <laughs> um, I need to move some of my videos off my laptop and onto this. I think storage is a very important part of my job because obviously I have like six years worth of videos and I save all of them and then I have design work from previous clients that I don't need to keep at hand immediately on my laptop but if a client wants something changing or wants another backup of it or whatever I need to have that on hand too so all my old client work is on these um my old uni work all that kind of stuff so definitely definitely recommend these i've never had a problem with them touch wood that's not wood is this wood so i'll link it in the description for you if you want to get one i got it from like curry's i think but i'm pretty sure like amazon or whatever will sell them i'll have a look around and it'll be linked in the description for you but um, whilst i'm waiting <laughs> i'm waiting for my video to export i think i'm going to do some little icon drawings so i'll put a couple of them on screen these are some of the drawings i've been doing i offered them at a special offer price just before christmas and i'm trying to get through them so i'm gonna do a couple of those i think i've got four or five left and i had 12 and it takes me a long time to do each one so it's been a bit of a mission i kind of i think i took on too many but i enjoy it so i'm just going with it so i'm gonna do them i'll we'll give you a quick little uh, time lapse talk you through those once i've got it done recently i actually uploaded a video completely talking you through how i create these icon portraits so i'll leave that linked in the clickable i button but in short i outline all the important features of the face and the hair and uh, then as you can see i'm colouring it in so i pick up a shade of skin tone um, do the eyes, fill in everything and for this I'm using Procreate as always uh, I use the smudge tool, I use the pen tool, I use a whole different range of tools but like I said if you want a more detailed version head over to that video but I really like how these turn out, I think they're quite cute and simple and add a little bit of personality to people's profiles Alright, I've been sat drawing, it is now half past seven in the evening I think I've made up for the loss of time working earlier um but i'm not finished yet i want to finish my to-do list i'm determined i've got one more icon portrait i'm gonna do today and then i've got a couple little doodle um kind of drawings i want to do so i don't know if you've noticed but if you go over on my instagram i've been posting some little quotes like in between my regular photos i've been doing quotes so i want to do um a couple more of those because i've run out now i've done like a big bunch of them and i've run out so i'm gonna do some more of those but i'm gonna go down go and do that downstairs um so i will leave you with a time lapse i hope you enjoyed this video um thanks for following me along for the day i'll leave all my online socials on screen and in the description if you want to follow me elsewhere subscribe if you've enjoyed this video i'm trying my hardest to get to a hundred thousand this year um but yeah here is one more final drawing time lapse who doesn't love a drawing time lapse? <laughs>